This is a Pokemon. Oh, so cute. They're kind of... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Dang it. Pokemon has evolved so much since I was a kid. The first time I saw a Game Boy Color, I asked my friend if I could play it, and he punched me. But that's all right, I'm an adult now. I bought my own Nintendo Switch, and I actually just picked up the new Pokemon game, which means it's time to toss some I fell in love with Pokemon when my character looked like this. Now I have a taper fade. Dang boy, Ooh. that's a pretty good boy. Also customized my Pokemon was my childhood, and now I'm gonna spend the next 100 days here. One Pokemon day is 36 minutes in real life, so let's get started. This is Paldea. A beautiful world filled with a brand new generation of Pokemon. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? I don't like that. Anyways, my goal here in the next 100 days, become a champion. That means defeating all eight gym leaders by destroying their Pokemon with no remorse, and eventually defeating the Elite Four. They might not look like much, but this has been the boss fight of Pokemon games for decades. Our journey begins here, at my mom's house. I spawned in and the first thing I wanted to do was... <laughs> Dude, I literally just want to scratch the back of that head. <laughs> That's so weird. Dang boy, that's a fresh cut, boy. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. I spawned like this, mom. Someone was knocking at the door, so I went to go check. Oh my gosh. Who the heck are you? I, I, I am the director of Yuva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. I'm going to be doing some of the voice acting for fun. Please don't judge me. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? I figured I'd better get ready for school, considering my principal just committed breaking and entering. He gave me three options for my starting Pokemon, so I walked him over to his Giga Mansion. I mean, look at that thing. He must have won a Mr. Beast challenge. Goodness. When I walked through the gates, I was approached by a girl named Nimona. Maybe our arch nemesis, potentially our wife. And then for the most nostalgic part of Pokemon, selecting your starter. I chose this one. Would you like to give Fue Coco a nickname? <laughs> you know, that actually doesn't sound like that big of a question until you realize that I'm playing. Nuzlocke mode. What is Nuzlocke mode? For one, you must nickname every Pokemon you catch. Bubba. <laughs> I love that name. If a Pokemon faints, it's dead. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each area. I just caught a late chunk, named him Gary. If all the Pokemon in your party die, it's game over. So you either beat the game, or you become a massive loser. On day three, we really started making progress. Uh, we found this Pokemon washed up on the beach. Here goes nothing. Can I interest you in life insurance? <laughs> I pulled a literal foot-long Subway sandwich out of my back pocket and fed it to the Pokemon. He ate it in one bite and immediately went Super Saiyan, like most people when they consume a meatball marinara. What? was in that sandwich. <laughs> Nimona and I ran over to a nearby house to try to get some answers about this Pokemon. This guy's name is Arvin and doesn't matter who my dad is. I had to kill his Pokemon. It was a weird sequence of events, but basically this Pokemon is me right on. It's gonna be our companion for the rest of this journey. Okay, so it looks like our adventure is moving on. We have a Miraidon, which honestly looks insane in our party next to literally five Lechonks. Then this toddler behind me was practically begging that I battle him. You have no shot against my Lechonk army. I'm just gonna put it that way. Here we go. Bubba destroyed his spider Pokemon thing in literally one hit. Is that all you got? Is that all you, is that all you had? I'm sorry, I'm just, oh no. He's frustrated. Now that I'm in a new area, I saw this Psyduck and decided to capture him. Basically, you knock down their HP a little bit so that they're weak, and then you throw a little Pokeball at him. Welcome to the team, Quack Boom. Because when he goes quack, you, you go boom. boom. Very good, yeah. So, let's get it. Mm, let's go. My number one priority in Nuzlocke mode is not letting any of my Pokemon die. This Pokemon game is truly open world, meaning it's up to you how you play it. I decided to fight some trainers and level up my squad, and then finally showed up to school like four days late. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to school. Looks like this is the school that you go to when you play the game. Frankly, the craziest architecture I've ever seen. If this was my school experience, I probably would have finished. I ran upstairs and the first thing I saw was someone getting bullied by two girls. Help her out. Come on. Oh, wow. I really came in there quick. Okay. I'm 90% sure she's hitting the gritty. What are these? What is? Okay, so this is Team Star. A bunch of bullies who started a revolt against literally everyone. And it's my job to take them out. Yay, side quests. Oh, are we battling? We're battling. Oh, okay. Go, Bubba. But that was easy. Namona rewarded us with this thing called a Terra Orb. It's new to this Pokemon game, and it allows your Pokemon to terastal terastalize. 
It basically allows Pokemon to change their typing. I honestly have no idea how to use it strategically, but it looks sick. So yeah, then I went to school for real this time. I attended my first class and found Arvin who was telling me about these Titan Pokemon on the loose, but how bad could it be? <laughs> What's up guys? This is my dorm room. That's right, I've got wood floors, and I'm, t I'm just gonna take a nap. Ready to call it a day? You'll need to rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Okay. It is officially day six in Pokemon. Yay, how's it going? Boop. <laughs> <sighs> Little room tour. Insane setup, I know. Pokemon poster, Pokemon poster, Pokemon bedspread. This expresses the way that I feel, and I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> Juicy juice. This is my bathroom for the next 100 Pokemon days. <laughs> uh. Playing the game in this headset is pretty pointless, but I'm feeling super connected to my character. I even took a little nap at the same time. Kind of cute. Okay, you, Bubba, and the rest of your party feel full of energy again. <laughs> it was a good nap. That's wonderful. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? You will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! <laughs> Okay, I'm having too much fun doing these voiceovers, but I guess I'm doing a study abroad program. Welcome to the team, Zeus. I'm in search of what I treasure in life, and after a single raid, I knew it wasn't Gary. Rest in peace, Gary. Randy also died, <laughs> but then Bubba evolved, which was actually very exciting. Good boy. I caught another Pokemon named it Stuart, because he's little. There you go. Quack boom, baby. I did some more training and found myself in a new area. Before trying to get our first badge, I trained all my Pokemon up into the double digits. I don't want any more deaths on my hands. Okay, we've done some training, and now I'm gonna get my first badge. Let's do this. Every time I play Pokemon, if I battle a gym leader, sometimes it takes me three or four tries to win. But that's not gonna slide in Nuzlocke mode. Okay. Here goes nothing. When he goes quack, you go boom. Quack boom started off really strong, like so good, but after getting hit literally once, I pulled him out. I can't lose quack boom. Bubba went beast mode, and then Katie here terastalized her final Pokemon. Kind of dramatic. I still don't get it because. Yeah. I have a Bubba. So. One gym leader down? Seven to go. So, we now have our first badge. We only lost a couple soldiers in battle on the way. On day 10, I decided to journey to the next gym leader. I kind of took my time though. Zeus evolved into a Flaffy. Oh my gosh. Bubba's going brazy. This game is just so beautiful. And I can't believe how different it is from when I was a kid. Quack Boom is adorable, and oh my goodness. Zeus died. No! Stuart died too. Why am I facing the hardest Pokemon in the game right now? I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now. I'm not prepared to be here. Big Chonk! <laughs> After losing Zeus and Stuart, I ran into a new Pokemon in this desert and caught him. I know Stuart Little died, but... Let me introduce you to Prince Harming. He has a crown, so it's like Prince Charming, but he also has like, he's, a, he's literally just a little, little cactus. On day 12, Big Chunk Evolve. And then I got a Pokemon called Bagon, nicknamed him Bacon Strip. <laughs> Get it? In a new area, I caught a Vigoroth and nicknamed him Freddy. Guys, I introduce you to Freddy, as in Freddy Krueger. He's got some long claws on him. I finally made it to the next city to fight the leader of- Gym number two. Little did I know I was about to have to go on a bit of a side quest. You see, the gym leader ran outside of his gym, thinking he lost his wallet. Really, he didn't. But I have to go return it to him, and he's on the other side of the world. So on my journey, I ran into one of the base camps for Team Star. Like I said before, this is a big side quest, but you pretty much have to do it. So I had to fight Giacomo. He was actually really powerful. I don't, I don't like these guys, they're scary. But Bubba did the trick. Then I gave Kofu his wallet and he said, Volt and Veluza, my wallet. Then dipped. 
without saying another word. I would have given him a ride back to his gym if he asked, but he didn't. So now I'm gonna go fight him. Fighting Kofu seemed like it was gonna be easy at first. Bro can't even keep track of his wallet, but things quickly turned sour. At this point, I'm attached to all of my Pokemon, and unfortunately, yeah. Big Chonk passed away. This battle is randomly extremely hard. Kofu terrestrialized a crab abominable, which what is that? And it killed Freddy. Rest in peace, Freddy. You didn't do much. Fortunately, Quackboom finished him off, and we got our second badge. And after the battle, Prince Harmon evolved into a Cactor. I've spent several hours just training, really, just to try to beat this water gym. We did lose our dear friends, Big Chunk and Freddy in the process, so rest in peace to both of them. But like I was saying, I basically realized that there's absolutely no way that's the second gym because the last Pokemon that I beat was level 30. I've played Pokemon my whole life, pretty much, and normally the second gym is super easy. I have no idea what I'm doing, which makes me scared and nervous. I'm so tired. <laughs> It's 1.10 a.m. I have not stayed up this late playing video games. I can't remember the last time. I'm actually having so much fun with this game. Um... Mm. I'm only sitting for the video. Aren't these sick? Right. Okay, I'm becoming a champion. <laughs> Hopefully. Good night. Day 20 in Pokemon, sleeping in a twin-size bed has never felt better. <sighs> so dumb. I vividly remember the morning I woke up and felt self-conscious about the, the things that I liked and the clothes that I wore. And I think that's a pretty normal experience, but also it sucks. Because most of the time you don't feel ready to change or move on. It just kind of happens. All right, baby, we're back. Roughly day 38, I've got a 40 gram protein shake. That's 40 grams of banana flavored protein. So we just beat the leader of the water gym, which is crazy because I think he's like the fourth or fifth gym leader. Prince Harming, doing amazing. Bacon Strip, looking good. Quack Boom, when he goes quack, you go boom. And Bubba. This is a very strong party. I definitely think I could use some more Pokemon. I'm gonna go heal up and then we're making our journey. An absolute trek to the next gym. On day 39, I went back to where we started because I somehow ventured off into the mid game on accident. I basically just spent all of yesterday trying to figure out why this game is so hard. Turns out I took the wrong path. Oh, but no, it's free roam. <laughs> yeah, right. I finally found myself on the right path. I fought a trainer, vaporized him. I'm almost to the next gym, but now that we're in a new area, I think I'm gonna catch this Pokemon. Our newest member of our party, Doe, Doug. I meant to name him Doe, because he kind of looks like a like Pillsbury Doughboy, like soft and squishy, but I accidentally hit enter when it just said Doug. So now it's Doug. Hi, Doug. <laughs> this is a Titan Crab. Since I took the wrong path, my Pokemon are actually super strong now. Arvin took me into a cave after beating the Titan, where we shared sandwiches, but when I left, he said something super sussy. Okay, the coast is clear. Anyways. Now me right on can shoot nitrous out of his actual butt cheeks. I can't believe what I'm seeing. All right, so I made it to the next gym. I'm almost certain I'm going to absolutely destroy this guy because my team is stacked. Bubba is level 31 and he's a fire Pokemon, so it's about to get gnarly in this building. I'm gonna go. I went into the gym and would you look who it is. Nimona wants to battle us, but we are literally too powerful for this stage of the game. So we basically one hit all of her Pokemon. Next came the actual second gym leader, Brassius. This gym specializes in grass Pokemon. Bubba is a fire type, and I know, it sounds like it should be easy. But let me warn you, that could not be- We have three badges now. Progress is being made. And then we ran into this lady who said, Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? I said yes, I got nervous. I mean, I do. On day 41, I was driving around when I stumbled across another Team Star camp. I beat them and no one died, so that's good. After that, I stumbled into a new city, which means new gym. This is Iono. She's an electric gym leader and an influencer. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Whoa. Finally. Iono. Today's challenger is flying high like a Watrell. It's Ryguy. How are you feeling about this battle, Ryguy? 
Alrighty, who's ready to see me kick some butt? Iono poses a threat to my team for sure. I sent out Bubba first, though, and he took out Watrell pretty easily. But her Luxio did some serious damage. Bubba made it out alive, though. I threw up Prince Harmon, who did a great job, and after she terrestrialized her last Pokemon, I did the same. That's right, we won. Yo, guys, uh, F's, F's in chat for Iono. Yeah, to go ahead and just spam that. Mm -hmm. We're halfway there. On day 43, I made some bacon out of a big chunk. <laughs> After that, I killed an Alaskan bullworm for Arvin. Good job, Bubba. Arvin has to be a part of Subway's loyalty program or something. Doug evolved into Big Doug, so I changed his name to Big Doug. I caught a Doug trio and named it Weed and Boys, and then... Oh, Bubba is evolving. Oh, Skeledurge. Holy smokes, Bubba. So this is my first battle with Bubba since he evolved. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this. I'm just going to carry on as if this is your everyday... Normal battle. Oh my goodness. Good job, Bubba. On day 44, I went to fight another Team Star boss when tragedy hit. I think we're about to lose. Oh. We lost weed and boys. We lost Big Doug. We lost Bacon Strip. We're down to our last three Pokemon. These three have been through thick and thin with me. Last hit. Last hit. You're done. Cute. On day 46, I went back to where I caught Doug and got another one. This time, Giga Doug. Then I went to a new area and found a Haunter. If I kill him, I'm not allowed to catch anything here, which would be devastating. Oh, no, 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 no. He just cut his own HP. Well, I'm not getting a Haunter. <laughs> on day 48, I found myself on an Ice Mountain. I let Bubba play with the other Pokemon for a bit. I have to rebuild my team, so I caught another Freddy. Welcome, Freddy 2.0. We're making great progress. I think it's time for dinner. Ugh. Sweet tea is hitting different, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, more protein. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to like drinking milk and eating Pop-Tarts, but when you grow up, that turns into protein shake and protein bar. <laughs> mm, that's protein. <laughs> Day 50. Freddy 2.0 evolved into a Slay King. <laughs> Get it? Slay, can't you? Never mind. Day 51, I trekked to a new city. Our team is absolutely stacked. Bubba, level 43. Freddy 2.0, level 43. Prince Harming, 39. Quackboom, I don't know why you're not evolving. 92 HP isn't gonna cut it. Giga Doug is almost double that, and he's level 32. This next gym is normal type. I'm a little scared. On day 52, I fought Larry, which... How are you gonna act tough when your name is Larry? Bubba completely incinerated all of Larry's Pokemon, and then we ate lunch together? That's when something crazy happened. Quackboom is... Evolving. Quack Boom has come so far. But I did catch the side up and I didn't give him the quack boom. He goes quack. On day 53, I found myself in a new area, fighting this big old titan and hitting a TikTok dance. Bubba took care of him. You know how this goes. Every time I kill a Titan, Arvin feeds his dog a Subway sandwich, and I think it's bringing him back to life or something. Yay! Side quests! On day 54, I realized I can fly, which was. Sick. I set up a picnic for my team and just felt so grateful. I love them. I'm gonna go kill that titan now. I killed that titan and witnessed another subway sandwich get decimated. Side quest. Next, I went surfing for the first time in this game, and man, look how far this game has come since I was little. That's crazy. Finally, I found myself in a snowy area, which means I'm allowed to catch a new Pokemon. I named this one Thick Thanos and fed it an ice stone, allowing it to evolve into its final form. I did some training with my beloved Quackboom, who is learning some very impressive moves. Good boy. Oh dear. On day 55, I got to a new city, which means new gym, baby. After healing up, I gave some XP candies to my Pokemon and leveled up the weaker ones. Guys, I think we're in the home stretch of this adventure. <laughs> Nuzlocke mode has seemingly gotten much easier. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. And lastly, I think all of the protein consumption is going to contribute to some lactose intolerance later on tonight. I was always scared of the Elite Four growing up, but this team that we're compiling is Elite as well. I'm just casually standing in a blizzard with shorts and a t-shirt. This is me when any cold front blows through Texas and it gets below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Get in there. Goodness. Hypothermia. The sixth gem leader is a rapper named Rhyme. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. That's... 
I'm getting that on my tombstone. Long story short, Bubba is the greatest Pokemon of all time. And I love him. Sixth badge complete, two to go before the Elite Four. I healed up my team, and on day 56, I went cliff jumping. I did some raids and let Bubba off his leash. I sold some loot for money to buy potions and stuff, and waltzed over to the seventh gym, Ice Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire is strong against ice. Not that it mattered, because Bubba is an absolute tank, and one hit them all. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future, no matter what challenges you face. That meant a lot. Gym 7 complete, which means we only have one more until the Elite Four. I met one of the Elite Four members, Poppy, in the lobby. Short. Vertically short. On day 57, I went to school to see if I was failing my classes. I've been gone for almost two months, after all. But guess what? I wasn't. So I took some classes. Biology, math, language, battle studies, art, home ec. Then I hit the gritty in the library. <laughs> now that's a good day. I entered a new area on my way to the final gym leader, which means I'm able to catch a new Pokemon. This is Gabite, a powerful dragon Pokemon. And oop, it just attacked me. Welcome to the team, Deez. Deez is a dragon. Dragon Deez no- Now I just need to make sure my team doesn't die. I healed up, made my way through this treacherous cave, and on day 58 I beat my first ever 4-star raid with Freddy 2.0. <laughs> Thanks. The loot was crazy. And then I did another one. We're getting stronger. On day 59, Deez evolved into a Garchomp. Chomping on Deez now. Now the only thing left to do before I face the Elite Four is defeat this final gym leader. In the morning. I should really get to bed. That's a good album. I'm gonna go to bed. After two actual months in Pokemon, I can say I'm in love with this game, but I must rest. Good night. Sleeping with a headset prevents you from seeing the, the daylight in the morning, but doesn't prevent you from hearing birds chirping. I'm afraid I'm gonna wake up one morning and think to myself, oh, this place is a mess. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how long I can get away with playing video games. I'm 24 years old now, which is kind of old, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to work this thing. I don't want to feel like I'm not growing as a person, but I also don't want to look in the mirror and not recognize myself. I'm trying to start drinking coffee black. I kind of hate it. <laughs> All right, where were we? <laughs> this is the final gym. This is the, the last gym that I have to beat before I can start uh, trying to beat the Elite Four. So let's go beat the Psychic boss. Psychic Pokemon have always been the most scary to me. However, Bubba has a really good move set that can take Psychic Pokemon out. So I'm not really scared right now. Eighth badge acquired. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. Ah, oh, man. Well, good luck, right guy, and wish me luck, too. How can I wish you luck? You ran away immediately. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesagoza. Day 82 already? I'm running out of time over here. <laughs> Go get him, Bubba. Good. Next, I decided to take down another Team Star member, Ortega, which was the worst decision of my life. Quackboom got completely rocked by this Chevy Tahoe. Like, rocked. I feel sick to my stomach. When he went quack, they went boom. Rest in quack. Quack boom. Bubba took out that Toyota 4Runner thing, and on day 83, I found myself catching our first water Pokemon. Welcome to the team, Dale the Whale. Dale immediately died while fighting the last Titan. Rest in peace, Dale. I took it out. Arvin fed his dog a BLT, and that did the trick, because he went rough woof. This is sweet. I love this moment. Anyways, we can climb things now. On day 84, I saw an electric Pokemon. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yes. New Pokemon alert. Welcome to the team, Buzz Buzz. You look terrific. I love what you're doing with your ears. I roamed into a new area and saw one of my favorite Pokemon ever, Scyther. I really want to catch it for the Elite Four. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Gosh dang it. Those lock mode strikes again. I might as well just destroy these guys now. Hello. And, oh my goodness. 
Hi! Oh my gosh, <laughs> fuck! Come here, oh no! Oh man. Here's your coffee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Is it a good one? Oh, that's so good. I caught a lot of Pokemon just wow. like you. We tell Spock he's a Pokemon. Oh yeah, you can name my next Pokemon. You're gonna use the name. I'll use the name. No matter what I say. I had a Pokemon named Big Chonk, so... Ready? Yeah. Pooter. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's about to poop. You're kidding. Uh, Haley. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 oh no. Uh, okay, back to the game. On day 85, I used all of my loot from raids on Bubba. 87,000. <clears throat> Bubba is now level 77, which is giving me an actual chance at beating the Elite Four in Nuzlocke mode. I still want to finish some of these side quests because I'm, I'm actually pretty invested in who's behind Team Star. There's no shot anyone survives against Bubba. That was epic. On day 86, I got to a new area and saw this Pokemon, a Heracross. Buzz Buzz almost died in the process, but I caught him and appropriately named it Pooter. I wanted a fighting Pokemon and a bug Pokemon for the Elite Four, so this knocks out two quacks with one boom. Days 87 to 92, I grinded out tons, and I mean tons, of raids. I got so much loot. And the best news? No one died. Here are the spoils of my raids. This is just so much XP. Like, we're just gonna level up our Pokemon so much with this. I spent all of my loot on our Pokemon, and they're now all over level 60, which is getting us closer to our one chance at the Elite Four. Remember, I either win or die. Nuzlocke mode is brutal. I finished the side quest of the game with relative ease. On day 94, I found out the leader of Team Star was Penny. Literally the girl we helped because she was getting bullied by Team Star. Anyways, destroyed her. Turns out her treasure hunt led her to her friends. That's her greatest treasure. Aw. But I've got four elites to beat. On day 96, I defeated Arvin. Oh no, I have to fight the dog. I don't want to fight the dog. Killed him anyway. Side quest complete. My friends. Time has come. It's time to challenge the Elite Four and slap mosquitoes off my legs, apparently. I either win or die. That's basically what's happening here because Nuzlocke mode. Oh no. Dude, these pants do not fit me. Holy smokes. This is the team that we've been able to build through the trials of Nuzlocke mode. The final team, we've got Bubba, the lone survivor of day one. We got the classic Dragon Ds. Very strong Pokemon. Prince Harming is our second most OG Pokemon in the party. Thick Thanos with 300 HP. That's phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, Pooter is going to come in handy. Bug Pokemon always seem to be valuable at the very end of, of Pokemon games. And Buzz Buzz. I walked into the Elite Four with the exact same fear as when I was little. Nothing has changed. And on day 99, after the craziest adventure of my adult life, the only thing left to do was toss out some balls. We've been training for this since that day in the desert, Prince Harmon. Go get him, King! The first Elite Four member is Ground Type. And my team was fully prepared to demolish Ground Types, for the most part. Prince Harmon almost died in this battle, but luckily, Thick Thanos finished him off. I'm adding an extra C to Thick. <laughs> we just defeated the first of the Elite Four. Not bad, kiddo. I fully healed up my Pokemon in preparation for the next battle. Time for Poppy. Let's get it. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye bye, mister. No, Poppy. I've said bye bye to too many Pokemon. I popped Poppy like a zit, and I'm ready for number three. Oh, it's just Larry again. Larry's in the Elite Four? I'm just gonna give Bubba five rare candies just to make him level 85. There it is. Level 85. Larry, I don't know what you've got in that briefcase, but Bubba can handle it. Let's go. I sent out Bubba for the first time and things were going extremely well. Like, really, really well. I took out Larry's Staraptor with Buzz Buzz and his Altaria with Thick Thanos. Thick Thanos went crazy, actually, but Larry's been training and I think he took the last time I beat him personally. Thick Thanos. Rest in peace to the thickest titan I've ever seen. Larry didn't stop there. Taking out Buzz Buzz with ease. He bows his last buzz. And then Bubba avenged his brothers. Keep my heart rate. My heart rate is actually at a concerning level. 
All of a sudden, things got really tense for me. Like, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, in real life, I got super serious about this. I can't lose any more Pokemon if I want a chance at this. <laughs> I don't like this. Hassel's team is made up of Dragon Pokemon, which is exactly what Deez has been training for. Okay, that took out half my health immediately. Deez took out the first Pokemon, but I got nervous and put in Bubba, who wrecked pretty much everyone until the last two. Oh my gosh, no. Baba is so strong, he has never been in a life or death situation even once. I rocked this dude, then he used a Terra Orb on his last Pokemon, Baxcalibur, one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. Oh my goodness! I actually almost passed away. Eight hit points left. Yes, I beat the Elite Four, but you may have noticed someone throughout the past 100 days super concerned with my journey. And to become a true champion, I have to defeat her. And she's right through those doors. We're clearly outnumbered for the final fight. I mean, the fight is actually gonna be the most insane fight the game has to offer. We made it. You'll never believe who I'm battling. Welcome, Raigai. Howdy. The final test is a battle against me. The top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. I want to see the true measure of your talent. We're outnumbered, we're outmatched, and all I've had today is a half cup of black coffee and a large McDonald's vanilla iced coffee, okay? Still down there? Oh yeah. Just gonna have to get some fuel real quick, sorry. <laughs> all right. Gita is strong, but her first Pokemon is literally just Lady Gaga with whoopee cushioned shoulders. I sent out Bubba and just played the game. Mm-hmm. When is the last time you actually looked back to your childhood in a significant way? You're done. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I barely even remember it. Oh my gosh. Most of the time I look back in the form of faint memories or low resolution iPhone 4 selfies. How many more? So it's pretty special to be looking at your childhood and it's right in front of you. Looking at my childhood, I don't see much, but I distinctly remember how I felt. This is Gita's last Pokemon. It all comes down to this. I remember things feeling so simple. You learn a lot as a kid, and sometimes I think I knew more then than I do now. For sure. Yes! Yes! I just beat the Elite Four, and you're looking at the new champion of Paldea. Does that matter? I don't freaking know. <laughs> but after all this, I am certain of one thing, and I think I'm gonna keep that to myself.